now we start ultrasound of scrotum this is left testis which shows normal homogeneous texture this is transverse view of the testis this is longitudinal view of testis the texture of testis is light gray and granular on color doppler when testis is normal there will be minimal flow and when there is inflammation of testis we will see flow all over the testis now we see minimal collection and the epididymis shows heterogeneous texture now we see the proximal part of the spermatic cord here is collection is present in the proximal part of the spermatic cord the spermatic cord is echogenic and mildly increase in size here we see that spermatic cord is more echogenic this is right testis which is also normal in size and texture and shows homogeneous texture this is epididymis and this is spermatic cord which is also normal in size and shows normal echogenicity when spermatic cord is inflamed its echogenicity is increased and size is also increased here we see a echogenic line this is gas in the small intestine in small intestine gases appear as a thin echogenic line now we scanning the left inguinal area as patient is also complaining of swelling here here we see a defect in the left inguinal area this is basically a defect in the left inguinal canal the gut tubes are present at the defect when patient is standing these guts are penetrated in this defect and presents as left inguinal hernia and when patient is lying the guts are reduced in the abdominal cavity now we measure the defect which is approximately 9 mm now how we will write report left testis is normal in size and shows homogeneous texture on color doppler flow is normal epididymis is mildly inflamed and shows heterogeneous texture minimal collection present the proximal part of left spermatic cord is also increased in size and echogenicity minimal collection is also present
right testis epididymis and spermatic cord are normal in size and shows homogeneous structure there is also a filling defect present in the left inguinal area measuring size 9 mm gut loops are absent the ultrasound diagnosis is left sided epididymitis with funiculitis and left indirect incomplete inguinal hernia